How's it, everybody? And welcome to you. Welcome to you. And welcome to the 12, 12 indicators in a market shift. And this is the last session of the 12th indicator that I want to talk about. So it's the 12th indicators of a market shift we've been speaking about. So if you missed any, go back to the previous recordings. You'll see it on YouTube. You'll see it on Facebook. You'll see it on LinkedIn. And have a look at that. So we're talking about the 12th one, which is the 12th indicator, advice to sellers. Advice to sellers. I've got a little T there. I'm seeing a mistake on it, but forgive me. Okay, forgive me. We're not perfect. A lot of people say, well, we can't use it. A lot of people, because until something's perfect, they don't want to put it out. But let me tell you what's better than perfect. It's prolific. Prolific. You're going to find when you're in business, you do, you, you do wrong things, you make mistakes, and sometimes you've got to, just got to keep on going, keep on going. And so re-recording, redoing every single thing again. So we want to be prolific rather than perfect. It's not about being perfect. There's nothing that's perfect on this planet. There is nothing that's perfect. And my definition of perfect is moving to maturity. That's what it really means. So we can talk about the 12 indicators of, of, uh, you know, of a market shift. And today is advice to sellers. Why advice to sellers? Why advice to sellers? Why, is, why do we talk about uh, indicator advice to sellers? Because, because listings control the market. If there's no listings, there's no real estate market, okay? So listings control the market. And, and giving great advice to sellers, uh, uh, you know, it changes. What we gave advice to sellers 12 months ago, we're not giving right now. It's completely turned around. So seeing a market shift, what message is a real estate professional giving to a seller right now? And that message changes. And that affects buyers. It affects every single person as well. So let's go and see what advice. So given, given advice to sellers right now, the last session, don't buy before you sell. Don't buy before you sell. You could do that six months ago. You could do that eight months ago. I tell sellers, do not buy a property until you sold. Don't do that because there are too many variables in, in the market right now. There are too many issues with, with interest rates and buy demand and time. So I'll say, rather hold on, sell your place first. And uh, get into escrow and then start getting final about putting an offer in another property. The second thing, advice says, don't get stuck on price or timeline. And people say, well, I'm going to sell it in three weeks. I'm going to have this price and that's going to be my price. If you're going to get stuck on price and timeline, you're going to find out you're probably going to sit with that property for a lot longer than you expected. Like a... a a, a Volkswagen or Volkswagen bug beetle, whatever, getting stuck in snow. It's not a four by four. You don't want it. Your vehicle, your home is not a four by four right now to go through anything. Your home can get stuck very fast. You can get stuck. Don't get stuck right now. Okay, number three, don't underprice your home when listing it. Don't underprice it. Don't be so nervous, so feel underprice it because you're going to lose money. And don't put your price down too much. Understand that thing. I don't want to go too much detail about that. Give me a call. We can talk more about that. Number four, don't price your property above the comparatives. Big mistake people are still making. We always see this in every market shift. Don't price your property above the compar comparables in the area. Okay? Talk to me about that. Number five, present your property in a show-ready state. Present your property... You know, the way you live in a property and show it are two different ways. And if you're putting your house on the market right now, you know, in this bad market we've just had, in too bad because unhealthy, sometimes the homes did not show that great. There was laundry all over, beds we walked into, uh, study office just messed up, kitchen, just dishes, not even washed, you know, and people selling their properties like, you know, 100,000 over, 200,000 over what, you know, what they're even asking for. And the home was a mess. If you're putting your property on the market, Make it show ready, okay? Advice is says number six, be patient. What does being patient mean? Is able to accept or tolerate delays without becoming annoyed or anxious. You're going to check your emotional insurance, uh, insurance, your, 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 just your emotional attitude um, right now, okay? How, your emotional intelligence, you want to check that right now. Do be patient. I'm telling you, Silas, you want to be patient right now in this market because things are changing and it's fine. And when there's a market shift, it always comes down to the sellers being affected fast and the sellers need to be patient because I'm having sellers who 
um, you know, ask me different questions who want to sell, and then they, they've they got to be patient, okay? So you tolerate stuff. Give me a call, Kurt Francis. It's been great talking about all the 12 indicators uh, to, you know, to everybody. I've enjoyed this little series, 12 indicators and a market shift. We've gone through it really, really fast. If you missed any, go back to the previous ones. Love you. Have the most incredible time of your life. Have the best day, best weekend, and best summer of your life. Thank you.